that brings a total of over one billion dollars. Folks, please join us. So, for our business at hand, uh, I want to go on to as far as concerning our additional funding. So, Randolph County, Elkins Middle School partial roof replacement for $1,791,058. Morgan County, Berkeley Springs High School HVAC replacement. $3,924,284. Tucker County, Tucker County High School partial roof and HVAC replacement, $6,428,460. Cabell County, New Ona Elementary School, $16,910,069. Wayne County, addition to Buffalo Pre-K-8 School, $20,694,800. Longelia County, Longelia County Technical Center STEM Edition, $4,430,554. Brook County, Brook County High School Interior Plumbing Renovations, $6,220,500. Raleigh County, Woodrow Wilson High School and Academic Careers and Tech Waterline Replacement, $2,069,526. Webster County, Blade Elementary and Webster Springs Elementary Safe School Entrance, $3,522,220. Lewis County, Lewis County High School, HVAC, Replacement and Interior Upgrades, $11,020,242. Hardy County, Moorefield Middle School, HVAC renovation, $5,324,600. With this funding, there were main MIPs that were previous to this that were not funded. Those were the needs. This is the MIPs that were not funded that we will be able to make this recommendation. Cabell County. Cabell Midland High School STEM class additional cafeteria expansion, $1 million. Webster County, Webster Springs Elementary interior renovation, $991,802. Montegalia County, Mountain View Elementary School safe school entrance, $887,919. Pocahontas County, Pocahontas County High School electric wiring upgrades in Jim Ford, $1 million. Mingo County, Tug Valley High School safe school entry, $437,533. Summers County, Summers County Career and Technical Center roof renovation, $684,896. Lewis County, Roan Elementary Skylight Replacement and Repairs, $242,140. As a result of additional supplemental funding in the, in the amount of $150 million that was approved by Governor Justice and the legislature, I respectfully recommend to the authority approve funding for the remaining MIP and need projects that were not funded in FY 2024 funding cycle in the amount of $87,565,593 as listed in the handout. I also respectfully recommend to the authority approval of amendment to Berkeley County and Wood County's grants that were previously approved as a multi-year grant in December of 2023 needs fund cycle for a total of $35,285,959. This amendment will now reflect full funding for both, for both counties for the FY 2024. The remaining additional supplemental funding of appropriate is around $27.1 million, which will be applied to, super, to future SBA funding projects results. 
and is the recommendation Governor Justice. Well, before we vote, I've got to just say just two or three things. And one of them is the most important of all. You know, uh, all these people, and all of you, and I've said it so many times, you know, when it really boils right down to it, we have, we pulled the rope together. And in pulling the rope together, we have got goodness beyond goodness beyond goodness going on all around us. You know, in the state of the state of grass, I said, we need to put $150 million in this right here. We already did 111 just days before that. Now we go up, we're asking for another 150 million, and then we got it. At the end of the day, let me just tell you just this real quick story. Yesterday, yesterday I was in the Eastern Panhandle, and I was sitting in front of a bunch of elementary kids that were going to basically have two new schools. The Eastern Panhandle's growing like crazy and everything. And absolutely, we want to try to keep pace with what with their growth and all the good stuff that they're doing. I was given a check to Berkeley County for $25 million. It was going to build two new schools. And basically in that, then I had Baby Dog with me, and here came all the kids, as we do when she's there. And all the kids were able to come by and just pet Baby Dog. and, and a lot of them were really smiling and laughing and everything else. Now let me tell you this, of all things, here comes this little kid and I'd say he's in the first or second grade. Real curly hair and everything and he comes up to me and he looks at me and he says, and I wrote down the words, he said, thanks for making me feel happy. Now just think, is there anything else in the world better? Is there anything that any of us could possibly do in our life to be better? You know, I think it describes everything. We're making an investment in our kids, are we not? We're absolutely trying to do better and better to make the education process better and better and better. That's what this is all about. At the end of the day, we keep pace. And I've said it 10 million times. The bottom line to everything is you're worth it. Every last one of you are worth it. And our kids are worth it. And I'm worth it. And with all that being said, let's do just what we've been doing. For God's sakes of living. I mean, why fix something that ain't broke? I mean, really and truly, all we got to do now is just keep this engine moving. And as long as God gives me breath and I'm your governor, I will try with all in me because I'm going to run through the finish line. I'm not going to coast. I'm going to run. God bless each and every one of you on this incredible board and all the good stuff you do. You know, absolutely never, ever forget Thanks for making me feel happy. You know, that's it to me. And so I just hugged that little kid. I mean, I just thought, how good, how good is that right there? You know, I was able to talk to those kids. I said to them, they can do anything in life that they choose to do. I said, for crying out loud, do you realize that I went through the whole thing but my grandparents never had indoor plumbing. And you know, whether it be I've grown up and some way, somehow you own the Greenbrier or you're the governor or whatever, you can dream and dream so big, so, so big. That's what they should do. And really, and truly, thanks for making me feel happy. I don't see how it's any better. So now, all that being said, you know, I would like to entertain a motion, I'm going to read, to approve the West Virginia Schools 
Building Authority's fiscal year 2024 needs project award of $149,851,553 to these counties. And I'd like to cut out the $3 to where maybe I could have that, where Baby Doll could get some extra nuggets here. <laughs> But we'll leave it in because we don't want to do something that's not right. But ne nevertheless, do I hear a motion and to approve? So do. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. How good could that be? Congratulations, sir, and congratulations to all of you. It's really, really great day. Great day. don't have anything else except I need I need to call the question for adjournment and I'm looking for a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 We're done. God bless you. Thank you.